Hello? 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 Is anybody home? Is anybody home? Anyway, <clears throat> it's Shantae Brown, Shake a Talk on the Black Unicorns. And today I'm talking about seasonal depression and how you avoid it. So, six effective ways. The first thing is change your mind about what it is that's going on. Okay? So, you have to change your mind about, like, I hate the weather in Illinois. And seasonal depression actually adds, it's more, it's higher in the Midwest because of the sun. The issues that we have with the sun, the sun does not come out for a long time. Um, and so people get seasonally depressed and they don't know. But it was first prevalent here. Sad. It's been her, it, they found out about it in about 1998 or something like that. If it get too bad for you, the quickest way to help yourself is get to a tennis salon. Seriously. And that's whether you're black, white, Hispanic, whatever. You can get in the tanning bed for two minutes and you'll be fine. It's just that you need some sun. If you feel like you're getting depressed and you're like, what the hell is wrong with me? Why am I so sad? That's like the quickest way to get yourself popped back together. I know it sounds crazy, but tanning salons also have good deals too. Like sometimes you can start and you can have, they'll give you 25 minutes for, for free or something like that. Or they'll give you... They'll give you 15 minutes and then you pay $10 for 25 minutes. It's crazy how, how the deals are at the tennis salon. When you go in there, that's all it is. And you get you a little uh, sunscreen to put on with it and you will be okay. Um, that is the quickest way for you to pop back. Um, so you got to think differently about it. Just because the sun doesn't come out does not mean now it's like, oh my God, the world is it. This is over for my life. Everything. Don't do that. It is okay. It is okay because you're not the only person going through it. Okay. The next thing is... Oh yeah, you can get a supplement of vitamin D. Vitamin D. I did it last year. I took vitamin D, but I don't have seasonal depression. So... Even though I took it, I took it up until the sun came out. So I, I took it for like, I took it through March, April. I took it through April. So I started in October last year and I stopped taking it in April. I think that's like six months, right? October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Seven months. So that's like seven months of vitamin D. So when the sun come out, you okay. You are totally okay. But the best thing about living here is the weather. In this area where we at in Illinois, it's not like Chicago. The weather is not like Texas. It's just its own thing. And it is beautiful. Like, seriously, even though the sun does not come out, the weather is usually, like, really kind of warm. And it's still just, like, one of the greatest things. And I think that's another way you have to rethink about it. But, yeah, you can take vitamin D in a bottle. You can take sun in a bottle. The sun will come out tomorrow. Okay, you can always remember that somebody could be experiencing something worse than you, but I don't really like that one. I I hit another one. I don't like it. Um, just think to yourself how it could be better, like how your day could be that better. Don't compare yourself to other people. Only compare yourself to your day, to yourself. How are you last year? How are you this year? You know, don't don't look at somebody else and be like, oh. They, it could be so much worse. No, it, so what it could be, but still, don't put other people into it. If you have seasonal depression, do not put other people into the situation. Think about you, because it's really about you. It's, it has nothing to do with other people. I hate the way this look. It looks like one of my eyes, like, bigger than the other. I got boogers again. I just cleaned my nose, y'all, last night before bed. More boogers wanted to come out. I feel like there's something in there. Like maybe I have like a little mention or something like that that cleans my nose and just scoots all the boogers to the front. I really do. I really do. Like I ain't never seen a nose that want to be clean at all times like mine. Take social media breaks. This is big because... Sometimes you start comparing too. Don't don't get on social media and start thinking that okay, I gotta be like this person, I gotta do that, I gotta do this. 
y'all my most recent social media issue was um I keep what what I want to do is post I don't think I make the recipe posts I think I need to kind of change them and then again sometimes I think I don't that's my style but what I'm saying is like I, I so I get on there and I'm like, what kind of what kind of social media can I create today? Whatever, and that's it, you know. So that's my most recent one. I was just like, oh my god, I need to make a recipe post. I really didn't have to. Okay. Um, number five, be mindful of the thoughts you allow to enter into your mind and the words you allow to exit from your mouth. So that's the thing too. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself because the world is going to be mad at you anyway. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. It ain't no other way for me to tell you. Be kind to yourself. Listen to music and stuff like that. And the last one is use tea as a nighttime relaxation. I say yeah. Speaking of tea, I think this is from Terrence Thomas and the police or something like that. Could y'all leave me alone? Because if my work speaks for me, you shouldn't be messing with me in the first place. And that's what I'm trying to get y'all to see. None of this has anything to do with you. This is from whatever. But yeah, if my work ever spoke for me. Y'all should have never even tried to mess with me in the first place. And that's what I was trying to get y'all to see. And y'all still keep trying to mess with me. Leave me alone. I shouldn't even be that important to you. Let me get my school and stuff together so I can get my life together. I got so many goals and dreams. And all y'all keep doing is holding me back from every last one of them. With this bullshit y'all keep trying to do. Leave me alone. And if I had the money, you know I wouldn't even be here to even be in the space or the presence of you. And that's the whole thing, too. It's such a, it's it's so discriminatory. Not only that, it's, how can I say? It's disrespectful. It's demeaning having to go through anything with y'all or for you or whatever because you are not the kind of people that I need in my life. Um, it's a certain kind of person I need, and y'all not it. So, yeah, please leave me alone. That's what I'm getting to. So whatever you have planned, I don't care if it's good or bad, I just don't want you in my life at all, because you already messed up everything. And this is a lifetime that I could have good work out there, and y'all keep destroying that too. Any chance I have at getting to the work, any chance I have at getting myself ready for the work, that's all y'all want to do is destroy everything for me. And, okay, but who else going to execute it like me? Nobody. And that's the point. So, yeah, please leave me alone. I don't know if my sister thinks she T now, just like Marla thought, just like Carla thought she was Marla. I'm not changing any names, any stories. Terrence Thomas, he has the same initials as my sister T T. We, we call her T T. So you see, they start thinking that they the other person, and I was talking about them and all this different stuff. I'm not into none of the stuff y'all do, and so that's what that's the whole thing too. It's like it's a big debacle because. You look at y'all, and then you look at the people that I actually influence, and y'all are nothing compared to them. And I'm sorry to say, but you are. You are basically, and they, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just telling you the truth. Your attitudes, your adjustments in life, everything, you are nothing compared to the people that actually know me. Y'all y'all just like a little, y'all like one of these boogers coming out my nose. Y'all need to go in the toilet. But that's it. And I don't mean that to be mean. It's just that now I have to be because I got other shit to do. I don't have time to waste to be trying to be nice to you. Maybe I should have been like Geraldine when I was in school. Then maybe y'all feel y'all wouldn't feel like y'all had to waste my time or anything like that. Um some of this stuff I'm just like I really need to really consider. But yeah, I'm considering being a bitch too because I'm like, what the fuck wrong with y'all? 
Or y'all own something? Like, are y'all smoking the shit together? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you doing some shit that I don't know about? But like I said, yeah, it's time for me to influence and everything. So, could I get there? Could y'all just get the fuck out the way? It ain't about you taking my friends and all that stuff. If you look at the letter, it's an immature letter. It's something that should not have been done. And you are actually sitting here considering doing the shit from the letter. Fucking up my plan. Okay. Anyway, it's Shantae telling you the story of Cain and Abel. Anyway, Shantae Brown Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorn telling you to have a good day. I really got to clean my nose, y'all. Why do the boogers come out of the nose? Anyway, yeah. Brown Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorn is telling you to have a wonderful day. Please have a wonderful day. And don't get seasonal depression. Remember, the tanning salon is the best place for you to go. If you have any issues with depression, go to her. And make sure you get you an SPF. And they have good ones, too. The tanning salon had the best ones because they got fruit juice and all that stuff. When you leave the tanning salon, take a shower because your skin that you have been, that you that what you exposed was your skin. And they have dead skin cells. So get the dead skin. You have to wash the dead skin cells off. So this, what you smelling is actually your dead skin cells. They have burned. So believe that. It's not a. It's not always a pleasant experience. Now, everything about it is not going to be pleasant. When you get through, you're going to have a little odor. It's not a bad odor. It's just it's going to be dead skin cells. But if you put on the right SPF, the smell, it probably won't be as bad as you think. I like the ones with tingle factor because they feel good. But two minutes is all you need. Even when you got a dark complexion, I say only go for two minutes because it's still false light. Have a good day.